Aviation workers have suspended their planned industrial action bill to commence today. This followed a memorandum of settlement reached by the workers and the Federal Ministry of Aviation in the early hours of Tuesday. Both parties signed the agreement at the end of a conciliation meeting held at the instance of the Federal Ministry of Labor and Employment. The meeting, which was presided over by the Minister of Labor and Employment, Senator Chris Ngigi, discussed the non-implementation of the minimum wage consequential adjustment in the aviation per status since 2019 and the non-approval or release of the reviewed conditions of service in the per status. Briefing journalists on the agreements reached, Ngigi said, and I quote, the National Salaries, Incomes and Wages Commission was requested to issue a service-wide circular informing all organizations in the public and private sectors that they are bound to implement the national minimum wage of 2019 and consequential adjustments. I, brand business correspondent Frank Omalape now joins us on Business Now to help make sense of this development. Good day. Good to have you. Yeah, it's good to be here, uh, Perpetua. All right. So what do you make of the persistent queues we have in our Phoenix stations? And when we look at the situation in Abuja, it's even taking a different tone where we have uh, retailers preferring to sell to people who are bearing gallons. And these people in turn become the black marketers. And we know how much this goes for in Abuja. What do you make of all of this? Well, it's no news that um, the disruption or the fuel scarcity we're witnessing now or experiencing in the country now is as a result of... Um, uh, loophole or laxity from NNPC, who is the sole importer of this particular product. Uh, All right, away from that, very quickly, uh, let's look at this. Uh, we understand that some of these retailers are saying that they have the adulterated petrol in their storage and they would need time to get it out so they can get mm -hmm. the new ones. And then we also see a situation where the PR, the national PRO, Thank you, pardon, of Ipman is saying that some retailers have actually started blending the adulterated fuel with the clean fuel. What do you make of that? Well, oh yes, that is, of course, that is possible. You can rule that out and because some people want to make up uh, for the laws. Then whose job is it to ensure that this doesn't happen, looking well, at the fact that it has adverse effects? Well, I hope that of course, the regulatory is there, the regulatory authority, that is the Nigerian midstream and downstream uh, petroleum re regulatory authority is there to ensure that these uh, adulterated products are properly recalled and no, no marketer, no uh, association will still be in custody of these adulterated because it has to be recalled and cleaned out or pull out of the system entirely. Otherwise, we're going to see some marketers or some people who are still going to take advantage of this loophole to cash in. Back to God. Okay, so I, I totally agree that um, we need to uh, send strong signals to these criminals Overstrong. so they know that we're not here to play games. But then, when we talk about the justice system, there is that part where we need to know their collaborators. We need to know who are the people you're working with. If we shoot them on the spot, how do we extract these confessions? How will that help us to get to the root of the matter so that we're not just killing the errand boys, we're able to address the chief sitting somewhere who is ordering these things? Thank you for being any. a true. Like I assure you, I said, as professional detectives, with or without those guys, they will get to their bases. All right, now, still talking about these corruption, correctional centers, we, we know there is the parts where we talk about the dilapidated structure structures and, and all of that. Now, away from that, what about other things that could be responsible for what we are having right now? Now, if we say that in some, in some instances, they'll say that the reason why we're having these jailbreaks, number one, they say because of overcrowding. Uh, mm -hmm. Some other persons will say that the prisons are understaffed, and when you have understaffed prisons, mm -hmm. the inmates could start a riot as it's happened in one of those, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and then apart from these things, what other things can be the, causative, the causes of these things, and how can they be addressed mm. the causes are numerous and they are not far from almost everyone involved you see the stakeholders are still alive this is an offshoot of the corruption we are seeking to fight in nigeria thanks for joining us on business now i am perpetua fasome peter now the news in detail we begin the news from the banking sector a financial analyst has stated that Nigerian banks latch on the negligence and importance of the banking audience to impose unnecessary charges. Business development consultant Adewale Justus said this earlier in the day on iBrand TV's business breakfast show. Justus stressed the need for consumers to always go through the right channels to make their complaints known. The banks latch on the negligence and the, and the, the, the importance of the entire banking audience. Social crisis in Nigeria.